Hello! So I got a new mic and I'm working on the public test room at the moment because a new goddess is coming out on Monday. Her name is Nox. As you can see, she's a little bit like Lysandra in appearance, in my opinion, from League of Legends. You know, the facial covering and you know, the rest of the body kind of just looks semi similar, but this may have been the inspiration for Lysandra. Who knows? They can draw from anything. This is one of her skins, it's the Crimson Eclipse. They have a uh, new skin for Coppercon, which is a golden skin, which is nice. A uh, Water Dancer skin for Nuwa, which looks pretty damn nice. A Orbital Strike, which is kind of like a robotish looking, maybe like Commander skin for Rama. And an Infernal Agni, which seems redundant because he's already kind of a flame deity, but I'll just leave that to everybody else's opinions. So I've never actually played Nox yet. I'm actually going to probably go into a practice with her if I can. I haven't played practice in so long I can't remember if you can choose your own character if they make you play a certain one. We will find out. If you are new to Smite or if you've never played Smite before, I actually have other videos that kind of introduces you to the characters and what to do and what not to do. I have stopped auto building my items, so big step for me. I've actually started building certain things for mages and other people. And my reasoning is just there are things that work with me. If they don't work for you, then that's good. Build what you need to build. So this is Nox. And she is the primordial goddess of the night. Kinda cool looking, nice pigtails. She could have a really good Hatsune Miku skin, maybe. Just saying. We're gonna face raw. So mage versus mage, kinda nice little throw off here. If anybody actually watches these videos so far, nobody really has but my boyfriend. Don't um, fear. Let me know if my volume's okay or if maybe there's something I could do to make it higher for you. If you are manually unlocking your abilities, Sorry, I'm drinking energy now, drink along the way. The function keys as indicated at the bottom of your screen. Nice, she kind of talks to you, which is interesting. Okay, so for my mages, I normally start with Bancroft's talent. I build part of it, and then I'll build part of Pythagorean's piece or Polynomicon. I'll wind up building both of those items and Bancroft's talent. And then I will usually go for. Perfect. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. It is the Stone of Gaia. Not because of the reason that most people would think, you know, that's a tanky item. Well, yes, it is, but it really helps me on mages for the mana region. So right now we need to kind of look at, at her abilities because I have no clue. Must be slain before She's got a barrier. Phoenixes will eventually respawn. But while they are down, the opposing team Then she has ravens that she launches at. are much harder to defeat. Silences Each people, shroud them in darkness. A little ground attack. And her main one where she latches her shadow onto other people's. And it will cause them to... How do I make that little clue thing go away? Towers must be destroyed no, put it. in order to Ow. advance down the lane. Towers will always shoot at enemy minions first, unless a god friendly to the tower takes damage from an enemy god. Okay, so we almost killed Raw right there in two hits, so the tower will shoot that's interesting. Its friendly god. Some of that had to have been the minions, like definitely some of that was the minions. Minions, if you've never played Smite, are pretty damn fucking powerful when it comes to beating your ass, so you don't want to just stand there and let them hit you. You want to stay behind your minions. Just like any other MOBA, minions are key. Definitely key to your success. Now I burn through mana like a mofo on just about every major I play because I'm not good at mana management. Which sounds redundant like I'm saying some weird kind of five times fast thing. How about you bathe in my glow, man? I would really compare her to um, Syndra from League of Legends actually because the whole ball turn. And if she doesn't throw balls, she does kind of do some work with her little attacks and pretty good amount of damage, and they are darkness based. Come on, Rock, come on back. We need to have a discussion about your actions. 
So if any point in time in these videos I'm not explaining something clearly, or maybe I'm just talking too much, which I do have a bad habit of doing, or maybe there's something I'm not talking enough about, just let me know. And I will fix it. I'll try to be more elaborate in my next video. I like the cooldown on that because that does a good amount of damage for that little of a cooldown. And of course, this isn't a very good um, example of a game against a normal person because these bots are extremely horrible when it comes to actually having strategy and stuff. They're not the worst bots I've ever seen in a MOBA, but they're definitely not the best. The Legend bots by far have a lot better sense than these ones. And you will hear me compare it to League because I play League a lot, or used to anyway. We switched to almost exclusively Smite for a bit. But um, League has its own downfalls. It's not the saint of all saints when it comes to MOBAs. It's just their bots are really, really well worked out because they've spent so long on them. I'm sure once Smite has enough time to actually worry about the bots and not exactly all the gods and everything, which are more important at the moment, they'll be able to fine-tune theirs to where they're actually doing maneuvers and being smart and doing what they should be doing. It's just it's all a matter of uh, things working themselves out. You may or may not hear my Skype call right now. I'm not going to answer it because then you'll start hearing the Skype people in the background. So I'm going to wait until after I at least play Nox for this video and then I'll go ahead and answer that. Sorry about that. I can't exactly pan off to switch it off or I'll probably wind up getting killed by Rob. But um, as I've noticed so far, the shield's pretty darn good. It wouldn't do much against a tanky person that was like really, um, well not tanky, an assassin. They would shred right through that shield probably really freaking fast. But against another mage like Raw, it's pretty darn good. And then the two seems to uh, do a good, a good job at silencing and just keeping them generally from attacking me and doing what I needed to do. Three definitely does a good amount of damage, even though it looks like it's only poking at him. Remember, I only have one item at this point, so that damage will go way up. Her auto attack does a pretty good chunk. It's not like the strongest auto attack I've ever seen in my life, but it's a pretty nice thing to just kind of pick at people. So if you're out of mana, auto attack the hell out of someone with this chick. As for aesthetic appeal, I love the fucking silhouette she has going on in the back. Even though she kind of looks like a rabbit with the long tails hanging down there. And as you can see from the front, very nice. Um, as always with Smite, you are seeing a good amount of boobs. I'm gonna have to switch that Skype call off. Give me just a second. And here, a good amount of boobs. You always see lots of boobs in Smite. It's just it's a fact of life. Need to get back to my tower. So, so far we've got Bancroft's Talon. I've got Polynomicon. Both really good mage items. Not sure why Ra went all the way behind the tower to do that. As again, as I said, these bots are not the smartest cookies in the barrel here. I guess that's not a very good analogy. These cookies normally don't come in barrels. But um, I'm from Hillbilly Stock, so my analogies occasionally will not make any sense whatsoever. Oh, I think I missed him with that. That sucks. Consume. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Yeah, her attacks went way up. Let's see what this does to Raw now. Nice. At least, like, I think about a quarter of his health, or maybe a quarter is a little bit too much of an exaggeration, but like a fifth. I wonder if she can take tower shots with this. Let's find out. Ooh, no, tower shot still hurts like a freaking mofo there, but it, it's okay. Almost killed him there because he's a dummy. Of course it's a bot, so... And if you go in a bot game and you get like 30 kills and then you go into a regular game you get like 5 kills and you're wondering why? It's because bots are not as smart as real humans in this game, so... You're gonna have a 
major step up when you start facing other people and not just bots in a game. You may hear someone speaking in the background. That is my boyfriend. Give me just a moment. If you were in your base fountain, your middle tower is under attack. Sorry about that. My boyfriend's having computer issues and we're trying to solve it with a game called Terraria. If anybody that actually watches this knows what that game is. So, um, if you have any issues where your game crashes all the fucking time with no errors until, like, one time it does give you an error, let us know, because we would really like to know about that. Okay. I know what I'm doing, I'm actually playing it. My boyfriend's watching because he hasn't downloaded the public test realm so he can't yet play Nox, but easy, easy to download. I don't know why more people don't do it. I'm gonna take Ross Tower right here because he's just gonna recall him and not recall him and then recall him. I'm actually gonna see if I can kill Ra here. He just keeps going further back like he's expecting it, so I guess I'm not going to be able to. I don't know if you can hear my game volume through the headset. I would think you could. Because I can hear it really loud. So I may be talking louder than I should be. And I have to pan out to actually turn it down so it's not going to be happening anytime soon. That's a really strong heal. Come on, Ra. Let's go, buddy. Mono and mono. I will keep chipping at you. Like her. her voice is extremely nice. She's all whispering like silence. There we go, little soldiers. Well effective, bro. He ain't gonna kill me. There we go. Took a while for me to get my first kill on that bird, but I got it. And uh, in a little bit I'll try some of her things, like her laugh. I don't have her voice back, so obviously it probably won't do all the other stuff. Let's try right now. <laughs> she sounds a little pretentious, if that's accurate to say that about a video game character. Oh shit, I can't see nothing. Oh, I hate that. Okay, so I'm trying to play her like I would say Cuckoo Clan. Slash Alcon if you're an Alcon player. So I'm trying to be up close and personal, which is not the best idea for someone of her talents. 
she needs to be able to duck and weave and get out of there. So right off the bat I'm kind of playing her wrong. But it's all good because I'm having fun. I don't know if she'll do any of her other things. Awesome. Nah, guy's voice. I can't remember most of the little voice commands except for, you know, no, yes, the laugh, and awesome. An enemy missing left or right. More middle. Important ones to know, yes, but I must avenge my death. Thought you're gonna get me this time, buddy boy. Consume. Got him. You may ask why I keep using some abilities even though he's not hitting me. You never know when this guy's going to hit you because Ra, if he builds cooldown, has so much freaking maneuverability. There we go. A little clutch, a little right on the nose there for that one, but I think I'm getting the hang of her. I like her candle thing. I don't exactly understand it yet, but I'll figure it out. That's her passive, by the way. Always a passive will be right where that candle offers at. Like I said, I think I'm getting the hang of her. Definitely owning Raw in the face now. Okay, I just wish my minions would move a little bit faster. Always a problem in Smite and in League and in just about every other MOBA. Your minions never seem to ever be there when you need them. Always lagging behind. Extinguish 
And even though my attacks could reach that phoenix without stepping onto there, unfortunately it won't do anything until I get within its zone. You can only auto attack a phoenix. You can use your abilities on a regular tower, like speeding up your attacks and stuff like that if you have them, but phoenix it's only auto attack. Phoenixes are very finicky. Now, normally I would only have med for that, but... Take out a good chunk of his health. I try not to waste too much mana, so I'm trying to not use that shield unless I need it. Even though it is an amazing shield. Silence. I'm gonna see what my little ground ability does to the Titan. Not even hardly any of his health. Oh shit, no. Gotta get out of that before he can cause me. The jungle. In the jungle, your visibility range is reduced, and you will not be able to see enemies until you get close to them. You will find neutral buff camps in the jungle that continuously respawn and provide important bonuses for slaves. Okay, I've got all three of those. I was building this into. Breastplate of Valor? Yeah, for cooldown reduction. Okay then. And then I was building Stone of Gaia, which I never actually got around to. And then I will normally, after that, either build Spear of the Megas or more cooldown reduction or Rod of Two Hooting. We'll go with the Rod. I'm gonna go fight me a Ra. I'm going to try to finish this out as fast as possible because I have some tech support I need to do. I'm not a certified tech support person. I just help people solve issues. Because I am computer savvy, but not to the point of I can build something like that. Not by far. I was wondering why my mana wasn't regening like it should have been, that's why I was wasting it so much, was because I didn't have the Stone of Gaia yet. Really makes sense that freaking Phoenix is back. This is a problem of not being able to push like you should early game, because the Phoenix comes back and it sucks. We're gonna take it. Darkness prevails. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy face. <laughs> 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 Smart though. Extremely smart. What he did there was he did his little heat thing. 
and then he got me with the freaking actual raw laser. That's what we usually refer to it as. I've got enough life steal going on from my magical abilities that I don't need to go back. Got him. There we go. Now that is my preview video for Nox, Primordial Goddess of the Night. Let me know if you like it, if anybody watches these videos, recommend me to somebody please so I can get more viewers and more opinions on who I should do, who I shouldn't do, what they thought I did wrong, all that good stuff. I'm open to suggestions. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>